Garangatch was a reptile across Eold that lived in the junction of the Winch Caribbee and Wollandilly Rivers. Merrigan was a, a tiger cat and a hunter and he seen Garangatch in the waterhole one day and wanted to catch him, so he went and got all this poison bark and threw it in the water to try and poison him, and it didn't work, so he tried to spear him and it didn't work. And Merrigan went to get more bark, and while Merrigan was getting more bark, Garangatch burrowed out of the waterhole and come down the valley, and as he come down, all the water flowed behind him. And he stopped at where Wampy and Caves are now and burrowed under the ground, and Merrigan didn't like going under ground, so he stood above with a big stick and put holes in the top of the cave that are still there today. So Garangatch rested there, then come further down the river and made water holes all along the way, fighting with Merrigan. Then he went out west up to Katoomba and Janolan Caves, where he met his family. And his family tried to help him by taking him over, to, over the Great Dividing Range to another water hole. And at that water hole, they tried to hide Garangatch. And Merrigan turned up and decided he was going to get some help. So he found a wood duck, a black duck, and a shag. And the ducks went first and tried to dive down into the water hole to get Garangatch, but they couldn't reach him. So then the shag tried, and the shag dived down and seen him, but he was stuck in between two rocks. So he came back up and took a deep breath, went back down and tore a big strip of flesh off Garangatch. Then he came up to the top and him and Merrigan and the um, the other ducks had a campfire and roasted the flesh and ate it and Garangatch to this day hides in the water hole trying to keep away from them. If you actually get a copy of the Dreamtime story and an old map you can follow the river exactly from the story. So you can see the bends in the river and where the water holes are and the slippery rock all, all on the map. Each water hole had a significant meaning. Um, one was used for medicinal purposes. One was used for um, the warriors used to bathe in it before they went to war. One was where they used to harvest the reeds to make jewellery and baskets. I'm a descendant of the Gundungra people from Burragreen Valley. My great-great-grandfather was George Riley, prominent Aboriginal person in the valley. George Riley was apparently the first Aboriginal man to be on an electoral roll in, in New South Wales. He was one of the first to apply for land. Um, his son opened the Catholic Church down in the valley and gave a possum skin coat to the Archbishop and to the Pope. And the, one over, and the one that he gave to the Pope went overseas and it's still in the Vatican. The Aboriginal women were the midwives down there, so they delivered everyone's baby. It didn't matter what colour you were, they she delivered your babies. Um, they, they also did medical treatments because we were so far away from a doctor. Yeah, everyone lived happily together. There was no children taken from the valley. There was no stolen generation from the valley. Um, that didn't happen until later when they come out of the valley. They were, they were taken then, but while they were in there, they were safe. But my family lived there until the dam was flooded. After the dam flooded, we moved to Warragamba and we've been there since. It's like they left yesterday. There's campsites where Aboriginal people were and you could you know, I think they just got up and left yesterday. There's paintings, there's burials, there's campsites, there's ceremony grounds, there's, it's just, everything's still there. And we've never lost that connection. It's, it's a connection, it's, it's part of, it's part of our identity. We've seen echidnas, there's platypus, eagles, you know, everything. It's like a wombat central down there. Um, Kangaroos, birds, possums, any any native animal is it's down there. The ceremonial grounds, the initiation grounds, burials. I've got 14 family members still buried down there. Aboriginal history and culture is very undervalued in this country, and we'll have nothing left. It will all go. Sorry and it's all going to be flooded. 
the majority of it will be flooded. So we're trying. I don't know what else we can do actually to try and stop it. It's just, have to see what happens now.